Aquarius, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. Like always, these are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may or may not resonate. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Let's jump on into it. Show me Aquarius in December, please. Show me Aquarius in December. Show me Aquarius in December. Show me Aquarius in December. Show me Aquarius in December, please. If you hear that background noise, that would be Cinnamon. Uh, she's currently working on something. <laughs> Probably her bone. All right, the Emperor, the Star. Wow, lovely. The Knight's Pentacles. The Page of Cups. Now that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, a bit towards the end there, opening up just a little bit. With all that power that preceded it, it's pretty interesting. So the Emperor's standing in your power in some way. Okay, we'll see what that's about. And the Star. There's something that calls to you deeply. A desire, a vision, a hope, a dream. Nice pentacles, slowly but surely, moving in a particular direction. And then page of cups. Interesting. Interesting. What's going on, please? Some of that emperor for Aquarius. Some of that emperor, please, for Aquarius. Show me that emperor. Show me that emperor, please. Okay, the King of Swords, that is you. Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor again. Wow. So I got two very prominent figures in here of empowerment. Um, I really don't know who this person represents to you, but as far as I can tell, you're both really equally strong-willed. <laughs> just, just to start. Just to start. I got two figures here of equal strength of will and conviction. Uh, wow. Okay. King of Swords, so one of these is absolutely you. Okay, and then I have an emperor attached to this queen of pentacles figure. So I, again, two persons of importance, prominence, willpower, and say. I don't know who this is to you. It doesn't have to be a spouse, but yes, it could be. Um, it could be someone that you work with in terms of equal division of labor, um, sense of importance, you name it. But as far as I can tell, you two are equal heads of state. You both have a phenomenal amount of power attached to you, um, sense of know-how, do-how, all that stuff. My will is my way. Uh, one is a little bit more practical in nature, and one, such as yourself, is a little bit more analytical, rational in nature. Okay? That's that's it. That's all you're showing me. <laughs> that's all you're showing me for right now. So, we'll see. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Perhaps it's some sort of business partnership or union. I cannot see, but it's powerful. All right, let's see that star. Show me the star. Show me that star. All that power. You got to do something with it. Show me the star, please. Show me the star. Show me the star. Show me the star. Show me the star. Show me that star, please, which, of course, is you. That is your direct power card. So it's good to see your energy showing up today. Show me that star. That's two very strong-willed people. Oh, yes. Okay, six of wands, you, nine of cups, and knight of swords. Man, don't you look good. And that's a very real thing, too. Six of wands, nine, excuse me, nine of cups. It's so easy with that nine in the night. Okay. Six of wands, confidence, nine of cups, self-love, wish fulfillment, knight of swords. As we speak, the Aquarius I'm looking at, you really don't have time to watch tarot, so I don't know why you're here. Because you're busy literally telling me making your dreams come true. And it's coming from a very deep personal place within you. This isn't external validation. This is internal. You're saying, I have to abide by my own driving forces, my own certain principles of what it is I wish to see and achieve in this life. So here I have you in conjunction with somebody else. Again, it doesn't have to be marriage. This could be a business partner for all I know. Because, again, that, that equal distribution of power is really real. Uh, when I say divine unions, that's typically emperor empress. Okay. So, I don't know. But equal has a state. But then we focus on you as an individual. And you're saying, as we speak, you are pursuing your dreams. With confidence, too. Look at that. Six of Wands. Oh, it's a bit cheeky, but I like it. It's that nice drive that kind of continues on or carries you forward, I should say, into your dreams and the development of them. So you're literally developing your dreams as we speak. And I know that's vague and that's fine with me. Look at that. You're not going to argue with that kind of thing. No, absolutely not. There's the real world action of wish fulfillment. I am fulfilling my own wishes. 
I'm fulfilling my own dreams and I feel darn good about it as you should six of wands I'm not going to fill in the blanks for you I don't have to it either resonates with you or it doesn't so I'm not going to sit here well you could be doing this or you could be doing that you would know you're either satisfying your own sense of self at very high levels and you feel damn good about it or you don't it is that simple because that's you and everything you're doing is done under your energy under your name under your actions everything and you're saying I take responsibility for my own sense of fulfillment good I wish more people did it's like my sense of happiness is fulfilled by me nobody else exactly that's what I'm saying the validation here is not external it's internal you are approving your own work your own movement your own action your own feeling so this could be a dream come true that you are literally fulfilling with somebody else you name it okay but you are very much a part of it and it's something that it's looking like it's you've always wanted to do I don't see you doing it alone but when it's time for you to fulfill your end you know exactly why you're doing it you know exactly why you're in it you don't question it there is no hesitation excellent all right let's see this knight of pentacles please let's see that knight of pentacles pacing is slower let's take a look at that knight of pentacles please show me that knight of pentacles show me that knight of pentacles Four of Pentacles, Devil, Five of Wands. Mm, I don't know what that is. It looks very different from you. Extremely different from you. I don't think it is you. Uh, this They're showing me pacing too. Yours is swift, on point. I got a Knight of Pentacles. Someone's dragging ass. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> dragging feet. Um, and it's perpetual too. Someone is arguing a point And it's not one that you seem to be hip with. It's like, that's not my problem. You are busy fulfilling your own sense of wish fulfillment, literally. And it feels good to you. And what I tell you all the time, everything begins with the self. You want more for yourself, it has to begin within you first. You're literally making that happen. I don't need to lecture you. This is somebody who's fighting you or around you and fundamentally disagreeing with everything that you do, which that is external from you. You're like, I don't agree with this pathway. And I'm going to drag along behind you, kicking and screaming. You're not getting my approval on this, Aquarius. And it's like, well, it sucks to be you because you're too busy doing your own thing. They, this is very loud and very negative. And it's active. It's not passive. It's active. Somebody is letting you know they don't approve of anything you're doing. And you can't force them to come along. And you have your own free will. So I don't know what the stink is about. If they're that protesting, then they don't need to be there. If they don't agree with anything you're doing, then why the hell are they there? This is that person who says, I don't want your attention, I don't need your attention, so I'm going to make myself as dramatic as possible to make sure you don't forget me, and therefore I get your attention. See what I'm saying? It's contradictory, and it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. This is that person who's like, I don't need this, I don't need this, whatever. I, I'm not going to be part of it. So they just stay there and haunt you about how much they disapprove of it. See what I'm saying? It's contradictory. It's bullshit and it's low level. And it's not moving. It's not shifting. It's so immature, man. It's That's exquisitely immature. And it's patternized, too. With the devil, four pentacles, forget about it. That's one of the worst combinations in tarot. The devil and the four pentacles, this person has a really ingrained pattern of kicking and screaming to get what they want and being non-cooperative. They hold on begrudgingly to points and they have no problem. They say I'm over it. They're not over it. They will pick up an old argument that was years ago like that, like it was yesterday. It is grossly immature and they seem to think that they have some say about what it is that you're doing with your life. So if this person is so adamant that they're not with you or about what is it you're doing then why the hell are they there making a stink it looks like it's none of the damn business maybe they should practice getting a life of their own i don't know but this person is so concerned and up your ass about what it is that they don't approve of and they want you to be aware of it i'm not participating yes they are they're participating by not agreeing get out if you don't like what aquarius is doing because you are doing exactly what i wish more people would do this is my dream this is how i love myself Put those two thoughts together. This is how we make it happen. How do you know someone has a life? 
They live it. How do you know someone doesn't have a life? They're too busy picking up on somebody else and disapproving of what they do to have a life. See what I'm saying? So I don't know who or what this is. Honey, ignore them. Turn your back on it. Don't... <laughs> this is miles from where you're not. <laughs> okay? And they're not going away anytime soon. And this person really likes to hold... And I mean... And I mean... Hold on to grudges. I'll never let you forget them. And I'm going to disapprove of everything you do along the way. Sucks to be you. Honey, I, I don't know. Put that person in a corner and let them stay there. Baby needs a baba. I don't... This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I hate that. You know, you will never get so much criticism in life than people who look at you and they know they don't have the balls to do what you're doing, so they get angry. Instead of being angry with themselves, they get angry with other people because they're daring to do something with their life. So don't fall for it. Don't turn back around and say, oh, how can I help you feel better about what I'm doing? No. If they want to be angry, bitter, and jealous and resentful, that's none of your business. I don't even see you participating with them, but I also don't see them letting you go. They, they, they want you to pay for moving on or being successful. I don't know. But that is some bitter, low-level shit. And it has not to do with you. That is entirely that person's business. They don't want to grow up, let things go, move on, or get their own life. That's their issue. I just want you to know that it's there. Because it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. It, 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 it's, it's like they're pissed that you're moving on with your life. Or you're, they're pissed that you're doing other things. I see you having high levels of cooperation and compatibility with somebody that, success, that says together you and I are success. And this is part of your personal wish, fulfillments, and dreams. And then it's like, well, I don't approve of what you're doing. Fuck you. I'm not going to let you forget me. But you're forgotten. As far as I can tell, they have no say in your life at all. At any way that's positive. So, FYI. I don't know why Spirit's pointing them out, but I guess you would know best. Alright. Page of Cups. That is some low-level shit right there. Ew. Want to see that Page of Cups, please? I, you will never get so much critique as from people who've never done the job you've done. You will never get so much anger, resentment, and bitterness than from people who refuse to take charge of their life like the way you are with yours. It's always those bitter, jaded, cynical people that want to make your business their business. Well, this is what I would do. You have no room for comparison. You have absolutely no idea in any way, in any stretch of the imagination, via heaven or hell, about what it is I do, how I do it, and why I do it. Because it's not your dream. So... And when you attach yourself to energies like this, there's no way in hell you can do what it is that you're doing. That's how I know you're not physically attached to them. So, them holding on to bitter and angerness towards you, how does that... It doesn't. You know, tell that to somebody who refuses to grow up and move on with their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. You know, I see you opening up your heart space in other areas, and you're kind of getting over whatever Three of Swords you've had in the past. Any sense of rejection, heartbreak, or whatever, you keep reminding yourself that's just not who you are, that you know who you are. You're someone who's empowered, who has experience. You know, even in the smallest of degrees, while you're tackling your wishes and dreams, your heart's starting to open up outside of yourself as a reflection of you being good to you and honoring your own sense of goals. Now your heart's starting to open up externally and while there's still some pain in there, you're saying you really know who you are and what you're about. You know, that old three of swords, whichever that is, isn't going to hold you back from you being you. So here you see how you love yourself, making your dreams come true. I'm leaning more and more towards a goal partnership here of equal orientation with somebody who's equally powerful and of like mind. It doesn't feel romantic at all, but take it as it resonates. 
is something that means a lot to you. And as you continue to show yourself this love by accomplishing your own goals, your heart is starting to open up no matter how small outside of you. So you might be interested in new love. Other than just say your own sense of wish fulfillment, which is already honoring your own sense of love. But now your heart's opening up externally as you're showing me high levels of independence, can do, experience, comfortable. This is starting to become less and less. So this is clearly someone you left behind and they jaded as hell. I mean, that's some low level petty shit. They don't want you to forget. And it's like, babe, you're forgotten. You don't get it. You're forgotten. You couldn't step up and do what I do. You're not interested. You put me down. You hold me back. Real love doesn't hold you back. If somebody really loves you, but it's not working, they let you go. You know? It couldn't be where you are. I don't know what your backstory is. I'm not looking at that today. I just know you're the one who's better off for it. <sighs> oh. Oh my goodness, honey. I can't even with that stuff. I can't even with that stuff. I, don't, I ain't got time for that. I'm like you. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm sorry I don't have your approval. You know what that hand gesture was. Don't ask me what that was. You know what that was. Because that's what it amounts to. It's a, it's a jerk-off concept. Forget about it. No. Sorry. Uh-uh. I got things that you can't get on board with that. Marriage. Okay. So for some of you, even... I, I, again, I can still interpret this as a contract of equal persons. That's right here. So yes, could it be marriage that's strong and you two are equals? 100%. It does feel like a contractual partnership that you personally thrive in because it's a goal for you. But yeah, take that as it resonates, yeah? Okay. Oh, you have the key. You know, some people are content in their gilded cages. Some people are not. But the best parts of ourselves, sometimes we have a tendency to put in a cage, even though we shouldn't. You have the key. You can release yourself from anything. If you really want to, you can. They have that same choice, so don't feel bad for them. They could release themselves from that. Let me make that clear. Four of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Five of Wands. This is not a good combination. I don't care how shitty you are at tarot. There's no way you can make that good. You just can't. And you shouldn't. Because then they're blowing smoke up somebody's ass. This is not pretty. And it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Everything begins with the self. If they really wanted to get themselves out of that kind of negativity, they have the much as key as you did. They have their own damn key. They have their own damn cage. They can deal with that. You dealt with your own stuff. Okay. So, oh, oh, oh is that where that bitterness is coming from? Because you're succeeding. Mm. Mm hmm. I could easily put that over here. You're pursuing your own dreams. It's clearly paying off, honey. Mm hmm what it is typically this is sweet it's the idea of magical dreams but wishful thinking it's a nice idea it's a nice fantasy right but you're not supposed to take it seriously right did you notice the 1313 you were accused of having magical thinking it's a pipe dream stupid Aquarius you're stupid that idea is stupid it's not nothing's gonna blah 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 devil bullshit five of wands four of pentacles you're just gonna lose all your money that you're gonna lose so you drop that negativity and you're succeeding. See what happens when you believe in yourself? You don't need other people to believe in you because some people don't believe in you. They don't want to. Like I said, some of you are doing things this person couldn't dare to dream and now they extra sour because not only did you make it happen, you're being successful. So no, it's not always magical thinking. Sometimes the best stuff is based on magical thinking. I wonder if I dared to do this thing that nobody else would do. Or I know wouldn't get approval. Or it's odd, it's different, and strange. What if I was that person? Some people are content to play what if. Some people are content to live what if. You are content to live what if. Okay. And, I, yeah, I see that clearly. Despair. That sense of negativity. Woe is me. Look what I lost. I probably should have supported Aquarius when I had the chance. Should have gotten in on that gravy chain when I had the chance. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have been such a negative when I had the chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there you go. 
Now, I may have a heart spit. Now, you, you know, it, pfft, salty is real. And for some people, it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. The old woman, sadness, female. For some person, that we are seeing the female here who is sad, bitter, left out, feels like the world's passing them by and they're not part of anything. And that general attitude under disposition makes them older than they actually are. Mm -hmm. The moon cycles change. Yes, exactly. Abide by that sense of moon. You can change. Just because other people around you refuse to doesn't mean that you can't. In fact, you hold yourself accountable, not other people. You looking at somebody it's like, you know what, you're not going to change and you're never going to. So what's my responsibility? Me. I get to change. I can't look at you and expect it from you. You've already told me what to expect from you. This is real human behavior, guys. This is real empowerment. I'm looking at you. I already know what to expect from you. So I can't blame you for not supporting me. If I, can, if I choose to stay connected to you, then I only have my blame, myself to blame. You see what I'm saying? Don't ever blame other people for being someone they're not. It's on you to understand that you are like the moon. You are meant to change. Okay, and the bride. Wife, engagement for some of you. You are looking, this could be that partnership here. Again, an ideal companion on this particular journey. It could be that freshness of um, spirit, youth, vitality, productivity that is the Empress. It could be literally that you might be on a new pathway to um, partnership, okay, with... Somebody who embodies that bride energy. Okay. Wifey material. I don't know. All right. Aquarius, honey, this was interesting. It's some beautiful components to it. Um, I'm sorry about that, but also it looks like you're not connected to them, so you already did the right thing. The only reason I'm seeing them is because four pentacles. They're choosing to hold on to the anger and the begrudgingness, you know. And in that person's point of view, they were right, they were right, they were right. That's the benefit of having the devil attached to your four pentacles and five of wands. That devil's going to keep telling that person they're justified in their anger and their resentment and just keep doing it, keep being a bitch, keep being a dick. They'll love it. They'll eventually listen to you. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. They're not giving that up anytime soon. And it's going to be amplified when they realize how much they lost in their inability to support you in your dreams. So in other words, I wouldn't be looking to that situation or person for improvement. It's coming across as dry, withered, inability to change. Whereas over here we have a sense of promise. Anyway, good job for you and good for you. Okay, excellent. I'm very happy for you. I hope this helps you put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.